gorgeous friends, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to work with basic maid with two bishops. I'm going to explain how I give this maid and I will be giving some, I think, important tips that can be helpful when you have this situation on the board. So let's start. The first step always is to bring your king as active as possible. So uh, we are going to start improving the position of the king the idea later is going to be controlling diagonal after diagonal with the two bishops. So we are going to control one diagonal with uh, the light square bishop and then the other with the dark square bishop and then one after the other until we take the king to some corner of the board. So let's play it. The first move here, as we said, improving the king, king c3 and let's say black plays king c5 we continue improving the king and then in some point we start when we see our king is ready we start controlling diagonal after diagonal that would be a problem and this is something we need to keep in mind that when we start controlling diagonals and moving the bishop from one to the next then there will be a hole that probably the enemy king is going to want to escape over that square. So we are going to use our king to control that hole so the king won't be able to escape over there. That is going to be the most complicated part but actually it's not uh, exactly complicated but it's, um, it's the moment where we must be more careful when we are doing this mate. So king c5 and then a uh, bishop uh, g7. The idea is that we are controlling this diagonal but now we want to control this one. That's why we brought the bishop here so we can play bishop f8. So let's say king b4 then we bring the bishop as far as possible. Remember the bishop can control the whole diagonal from long distance so we don't need to expose it close too close to the king so we just play bishop f7 as far as possible and then we control uh, the next diagonal. Let's say king c6 and this is the moment I meant. Here we cannot play directly bishop e8 because then yeah we are controlling the diagonals but the king will be able to escape over here. There is a hole there so we need to control that hole with our king before we go to control the next diagonal. So the right move here is king d4. The king now can get a little closer to avoid this but it's not a big deal we just change the bishop back to the other side and we do the same with the dark squares bishop and then we still can't move because there is a hole again here so we need to continue using our king controlling the holes but now we are uh, in the right moment because the hole is this one and the king is controlling that hole so we can now control the next diagonal bishop a4 and then um, we just continue improving the king. The next diagonal will be this one, but the king is there. But the idea with this uh, move king d6 and the next move over here is going to be that in some point the king will have to stop controlling a5, so we will be able to control this diagonal. So we don't actually we don't need to change to the other side now because with this plan pushing black king we will be able to play bishop a5 very soon. So king d6 and then king c6 is okay and now we finally control this diagonal. Then we go to the other side and the next diagonal we need to control is this one and it's not going to be too complicated we just play here bishop b5 and then bishop a6. Once the king is completely trapped here on the corner it's very easy all we need to do is to organize the pieces and, and find the right way to mate but in general the mate is soon, like 3-4 moves uh, that will be made very often. So just improve the king and then uh, give the right checks and then this is the mate. So remember when you want to do mate with two bishops improve the king, that's the first thing then try to use your bishops to control one diagonal after the other but remember we need to be careful because in some point there can be some holes that the enemy king will, will want to escape over. So we need to use our king to control those squares and then uh, we can continue 
shaking and controlling the diagonals with the bishops. Until the king is on the edge or on the corner of the board, then it's very easy to make like in three or four moves that will be made in general. So this is the video I wanted to show you today. I hope you have enjoyed it and that this has been helpful. If it was like that, give me likes. Also, if you have some question, you can write it in the comments. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and see you in the next.